is the poor are all around us and they don't need to be materially poor only. But one thing we can all be guilty of at times is ignoring or looking past the poor that are in front of our eyes. And that is certainly the case with Lazarus. That is, we are told that there was Lazarus right on the doorstep of the rich man's home, and Lazarus just ignored and I mean, the rich man just ignored and looked past Lazarus. He had all the means to help him, but he did not do anything. But why the rich man found himself in that place of eternal pain and torment was not because of his actions, but through his inaction. Not through his cruelty, but through his indifference. Not because he was a rich man, but rather he lacked compassion and empathy. And so too, for us, that is, there are so many Lazaruses out there in our day and age, perhaps in this day and age more than ever, it seems, that is very troubled souls in any way, shape, or form. And again, it doesn't have to be just the materially poor or those at our doorstep only. That is, it can be the uh, those that have lost their, their faith and have fallen away from Christ and his church. It could be the sick and the elderly. It could be the lonely or the depressed. It could be um, those that everyone seems to avoid or wants no part of. It could be the young mom trapped at home with her young children anyone that we know, even in our family, a close friend that could use a card, an email, phone call, a kindness, a small kindness, or even a smile. Today's gospel is one of those that when I was younger, I had a hard time to identify with. That is, growing up in a rural area of Fairfield County, that is, I didn't encounter or would never encounter a poor man walking in our neighborhood begging for food, let alone, as our gospel says, a poor man on our doorstep. That is, we just didn't think about the poor as much when we were younger, you know. It's not till you're older that you start to imagine and start to think about that the poor might not be right in front of your eyes, but of, of course the poor are all over, all, all over our world. But also as I got older, I began to understand that the poor doesn't necessarily need to mean material poor only. There, there are other poor and lost souls in our world in need of help, and they could have all different kinds of needs also. And there's a particular story when I was young that helped me to really understand this in a very powerful way. It is during my studies for the priesthood in, uh, in the summer I was working as the sports director at a local YMC, YMCA. And there were a lot of teenage counselors, of course, that worked at this camp also. I, I remember one particular female counselor that didn't quite seem to fit in with the others. Uh, she wasn't, she was often, it seemed, ignored or looked past. She didn't really engage with the others, nor did they seek to engage with her. That is, even though she was present there, she always seemed to be somewhere else, that maybe she was troubled in some way, shape, or form. And I specifically remember many times thinking, you know, I should just talk to her when I have a chance, or just reach out to her and see if she's okay. And then, though, once when camp began the next day, you know, one day, uh, we all found out very tragically that she had taken her own life. 
And still to this day, I think about that girl, and there are many others that worked at the camp that think about that girl also and think, you know, what a, you know, could I have done something? Why didn't I do something? Why didn't I say something? You know, perhaps, uh, I, you know, perhaps, uh, you know, even though the chance might have been small, maybe something I could have said or done could have helped her. That is, the poor are all around us, and they don't need to be materially poor only. But one thing we can all be guilty of at times is ignoring or looking past the poor that are in front of our eyes. And that is certainly the case with Lazarus. That is, we are told that there was Lazarus right on the doorstep of the rich man's home, and Lazarus just ignored and, I mean, the rich man just ignored and looked past Lazarus. He had all the means to help him, but he did not do anything. Perhaps it's also really interesting to point out that as Jesus began that parable, he begins with the words, simply, there was a rich man. It's important because he didn't say that the rich man was a bad person. Uh, Surely he must have been a little selfish, a little self ab Absorbed. We are told that he um, dressed in fine linen every day and dined sumptuously. So yes, maybe he was a little uh, selfish, but our Lord did not say he was a bad person. He also wasn't intentionally cruel to Lazarus also. I mean, after all, he did allow him to sit on his front porch and did allow him to eat the scraps that fell from his table also. He didn't do anything cruel or bad. We also know that uh, that the rich man wasn't a mean-spirited person. We know that because when he found himself in that place of eternal pain and torment, he wanted to reach out to his brothers so that they wouldn't share in the same fate as him. So he cared enough about about some others. But why the rich man found himself in that place of eternal pain and torment was not because of his actions, but through his inaction. Not through his cruelty, but through his indifference. Not because he was a rich man, but rather he lacked compassion and empathy. That is, he had all the means at his disposal to reach out and help Lazarus, but he did not do that. He was guilty of the sin of omission. That is, he failed to do what he could and should have done. And so, too, for us, that is, there are so many Lazaruses out there in our day and age, perhaps in this day and age more than ever, it seems, that is very troubled souls in any way, shape, or form. And again, it doesn't have to be just the materially poor or those at our doorstep only. That is, it can be the, uh, those that have lost their, their faith and have fallen away from Christ and his church. It could be the sick and the elderly. It could be the lonely or the depressed. It could be um, those that everyone seems to avoid or wants no part of. It could be the young mom trapped at home with her young children. Anyone that we know, even in our family, a close friend that could use a card, an email, phone call, a kindness, a small kindness, or even a smile. That is, each and every day, perhaps, maybe not at our doorsteps, but we probably all regularly encounter Lazaruses in our daily lives on earth. And we probably don't even have to make too much of an effort to give them a little more peace, a little more joy, and a little more help also. When our Lord sent out his disciples at the very start, one of the instructions and the most important instruction he gave them was be mindful of the poor. And the poor, there are so many poor, and there are so many poor all around us. 
And so that same instruction is meant for us too, to be mindful of the poor. May the poor around us capture our attention, our hearts, and our health.